Welcome to the Neuropathy Support Group and Podcast. I'm Chris, and I'm so glad you tuned in. It's my hope with this podcast to help all of us gather information that might help those that need support dealing with this debilitating issue. Hello, and welcome to this podcast. Before we get started, let's get the formalities out of the way with the medical and privacy disclaimer. I am not a doctor or medical professional. The information on this podcast is from personal experiences and is meant for group support. Additionally, the information discussed is not meant to diagnose, treat, or cure any underlying conditions associated with neuropathy. All names here within are private and will not be shared with any outside sources. Please consult your health care provider before making any health decisions. If you have medical concerns or an immediate emergency, please contact your doctor or dial 911. Hello everyone, how you doing? Oh, what a terrible, terrible week for me last week. I'll give me a chance here and I'll let you know about it. Uh, today we're going to be talking about flaxseed oil. Last week we talked about fish oil, now we're going to talk about flaxseed, which is also uh, full of omega-3s. Now when, first off, when I first talk about these different episodes and the information I get, I provide to you and let you go ahead and analyze whatever you find and I always let you know to talk to your doctor first before you make any changes to your regimen. The information I find is on the internet and anybody can find it, but I figured by having this show not only talk about it, but we can also um, find out what are things that are better for us that handle and have to handle all this chronic pain and illness. So I hope you find everything beneficial. And like I said before, I'm not a doctor, so everything that I come up with is, or I say, is in in my own opinion. Nobody else's. Now, the next thing is, I had a little setback with my left leg. I noticed that one of the veins that they worked on was starting to bulge, starting to swell up, and it was really hurting a lot. So I went to the doctor, and they gave me some and antibiotic plus steroids and and blood thinning medication not really doing well with that medication I don't like it at all but I'm almost done with it it's only a, a week a week and a half um, supply of medication so I'm hoping everything goes okay I think this week I have an ultrasound to take care of so to find out to make sure there's no blood clots but that's where my uh, past week put me, and uh, I was in bed the whole time and in pain. And I think we're starting to go on the good side and starting to get my strength back again in my leg. But let's get on to this topic. Um, like I said, today we're going to be talking about flaxseed and flaxseed oil and the benefits and things and the cautions that you need to watch for before taking this supplement. So first, let's start out with the six items and benefits of flaxseed oil, plus how to use it. You would think that, you know, supplements don't have a a rule or, you know, certain directions, a way that you have to take these uh, supplements, but they do. You take too many, you know, it's not a good thing. So you really need to stick to the milligrams. And then that's where your doctor comes in, where you and him or her could sit down and talk about it first and see if you need to have more omegas inside your, you know, your body. So this article states, Black seeds are known for their many health benefits, which include providing a heart dose of protein and fiber, reducing appetite and aiding in weight control. Given their stellar nutrient profile, it's no wonder that flaxseed oil is also jam-packed with similar health benefits. Flaxseed oil, also known as flax oil or linseed oil, is made from flax seeds that have been ground and pressed to release their natural oils. This health-promoting oil has a wide variety of uses, ranging from cook- cooking to skin care. This article will explore some of the top benefits of flaxseed oil and a few simple ways to use it. 
So number one, we're going to talk about high in omega-3 fatty acids. Much like flax seeds, flaxseed oil is loaded with heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids. Specifically, flaxseed oil contains ALA, which is alpha myelinic acid, a form of omega-3 fatty acid that is only converted in small amounts to activate forms of omega-3 like EPA and DHA. Just one tablespoon of flaxseed oil can meet and exceed your daily ALA needs. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential to health and how and have been associated with benefits like reduced inflammation, improved heart health, and protection for the brain against aging. If you are taking fish oil or getting one to two servings of fatty fish in your diet each week, flaxseed oil may be a good solution to help supplement your diet with omega-3 fatty acids. Number two, may help reduce cancer cell growth. Although the current research is limited to test tube and animal studies, there is some evidence that flaxseed oil may help reduce the growth of cancer cells. In one study of animals, mice were given 0.3 millimeters of flaxseed oil for 40 days. It was found to prevent the spread of cancer and the growth of lung tumors. In another small animal study, flaxseed oil was shown to block the formation of colon cancer in rats. Furthermore, test tube studies have produced similar findings, with several studies showing that flaxseed oil reduced the growth of breast cancer cells. Still, while these findings are promising, more research is needed to determine how these results may translate to humans. Number three, could benefit heart health. Several studies have found that flaxseed oil could benefit heart health. One study in 59 people compared the effects of flaxseed oil to those of safflower oil, a type of whole oil high in omega-3 fatty acids. In this study, supplementing with one tablespoon of flaxseed oil for 12 weeks led to significantly lower blood pressure levels supplementing with safflower oil. High blood pressure can harm heart health as it places extra strains on the heart, forcing it to work harder. Flaxseed oil may also improve your arteries. Both aging and increased blood pressure are generally linked to decreases in elasticity. These benefits are likely due to a high concentration of omega-3 fatty acids in flaxseed oil, as supplementing with it has been shown to significantly increase the amount of omega-3s in the blood. Once more, numerous studies have shown that omega-3 fatty acids improve heart health, with benefits such as reduced inflammation and lower blood pressure. Number four, it may help treat constipation and diarrhea. Flaxseed oil may be effective at treating both constipation and diarrhea. A recent animal study showed that flaxseed oil acted as a laxative to promote reg regularity, all while acting as an anti-diarrheal agent. Didn't know that. Another study gave 50 constipated patients either flaxseed oil, olive oil, or mineral oil. After four weeks, flaxseed oil increased the frequency of bowel movements and improved stool consistency. Also, it was found to be an effective, as effective as both olive oil and mineral oil. However, research on the effects of flaxseed oil on constipation and diarrhea is currently limited to animal studies and studies on people with specific conditions. Additional studies are needed to evaluate its effectiveness in the general population. Number five. It may help improve skin health. Flaxseed oil may also help enhance skin health. One small study had 13 women supplement 
with flaxseed oil for 12 weeks. At the end of the study, they experienced improvements in skin smoothness and hydration, while skin sensitivity to irritation and roughness had decreased. A, rec a recent animal study showed that flaxseed oil had a similar positive results. Mice with dermatitis were given flaxseed oil for three weeks. The oil was shown to decrease symptoms of dermatitis such as redness, swelling, and itching. However, no studies have looked at the benefits of applying flaxseed oil to the skin of people. Nevertheless, there are numerous anecdotal reports of improvements in smoothness and reduced irritation after applying flaxseed oil. And finally, number six, they reduce inflammation. Thanks to its omega-3 fatty acid content, some research shows that flaxseed oil may help reduce inflammation in certain populations. However, one analysis of 20 studies showed that flaxseed oil did not have an effect on inflammation in the general population. Nevertheless, it significantly reduced levels of C-reactive protein, a marker used to measure inflammation in obese people. An animal study also found that flaxseed oil has potent anti-inflammatory properties. Some studies indicated that flaxseed oil anti-inflammatory effects are equivalent to those of olive oil. For example, one study in 37 people showed that flaxseed oil supplements didn't affect any inflammatory markers in healthy, normal weight adults compared to olive oil. While it seems that flaxseed oil may affect people differently, more research is needed to determine its effects on inflammation. So the bottom line for this article, it says flaxseed oil is high in omega-3 fatty acids and has been shown to have several health benefits, such as reduced blood pressure and improved regularity. Once more, flaxseed oil can be, a, be used in a variety of ways. It can be used as a replacement for other types of oils added to foods or applied to your skin and hair, including just one or two servings of flaxseed oil in your daily routine is easy and could have numerous benefits for your overall health. All right, so now we're gonna switch articles to another one about flaxseed and flaxseed oil that I found on the internet. And this one talks about the research and their take on flaxseed oil, which comes from the Mayo Clinic. This is what research says. Research on the use of flaxseed and flaxseed oil for specific conditions shows that Alpha acid, which is found in flaxseed and flaxseed oil, might benefit people with heart disease. Either early research also just suggests that flaxseed oil might help lower high blood pressure, which plays a role in heart disease. Next is cholesterol levels. Several studies show that taking flaxseed daily can reduce total cholesterol and low density. However, other studies aren't as favorable. Diabetes. Taking flaxseed might lower blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes. However, the same results haven't been found for flaxseed oil. And menopausal symptoms. Results have been mixed when it comes to the use of flaxseed and the treatment of menopausal symptoms. So here's the Mayo Clinic's take on all this generally safe when used in combination with daily exercise and low cholesterol diet flaxseed might help control cholesterol levels flaxseed might also be helpful for managing diabetes and lowering the risk of health when taking in recommended amounts flaxseed and flaxseed oil are generally safe to use however when taken in large amounts and with too little water Flaxseed can cause bloating, gas, and diarrhea. Avoid the use of flaxseed and flaxseed oil during pregnancy. Occasionally using flaxseed and flaxseed oil causes an allergic reaction. Don't eat raw or unripe flaxseeds because flaxseed oil might decrease blood clotting, 
stop using Plaxido for two weeks before having an elective surgery. The evidence is mixed as to whether Plaxido or Plaxido oil has any effect on the prostate or the risk of prostate cancer. Now we talk about the possible interactions. Anticoagulant and antiplatelet drugs, herbs, and supplements. These types of drugs, herbs, and supplements reduce blood clotting. Flaxseed oil also must, might decrease blood clotting. It's possible that taking flaxseed oil might increase the risk of bleeding. Next, blood sugar drugs, herbs, and supplements. Flaxseed oil might lower blood pressure. Taking flaxseed oil with drugs, herbs, and supplements that lower blood pressure might lower blood pressure too much. Next, an in interaction with diabetes drugs. Plaxid oil might lower blood sugar levels. Taking plaxid with diabetes drugs or herbs or supplements with hypoglycemic potential might lower blood sugar too much. Estrogens. Plaxid oil might have an anti-estrogen effect. Taking plaxid might decrease the effects of oral contraceptive drugs, and estrogen replacement therapy, and interactions with other drugs. Taking plaxid might decrease absorption of oral drugs. Consider taking oral drugs of plaxid an hour or two apart. So that's their final, um, I guess, what their study found from the Mayo Clinic, which isn't much to go by, but it kind of gives you an idea of what they talk about and how they feel about flaxseed oil. Now, remember, don't go by what the article is telling you here. Sure, you can print it out and take it to your doctor, but it's better to just talk to your doctor. If you're going to be adding any type of supplement, any of them, talk to your doctor first to make sure that everything will be okay because you may be taking other medications also and you don't want any interaction with those. So now we go to WebMD. In their research, this is what they've come up with. Uh, we're going to talk about some more coconuts because I only have about three minutes left. But uh, here's possible ineffective for bipolar disorder, obesity, rheumatoid arthritis. So those are things that are possibly ineffective. Some of the side effects when taken by mouth, flaxseed oil is likely safe for most adults. When applied to the skin, flaxseed oil is possibly safe when used in short term. Flaxseed oil has been used safely on the wrist for up to four weeks. Flaxseed oil side effects when applied into the eyes. Flaxseed oil is possibly safe when applied into the eyes short term. Eye drops containing flaxseed oil have been used safely for up to three months. Redness and inchy may occur in some people. And then uh, special precautions and warnings if you're pregnant. Flexi oil is possibly safe when taken by mouth in doses of up to 2 grams daily for up to 6 weeks during pregnancy. But using flexi oil during the second or third trimester has been linked with an increased risk of giving birth pre prematurely. You better check with your doctor on that one, ladies out there that are pregnant. Um, take his advice, even though this is coming from doctors from WebMD, I would, you still got to talk to your doctors because they don't know what other medications you're taking, so just be careful. Also, breastfeeding. If you're breastfeeding, there isn't enough reliable information to know if flaxseed oil is safe to use when breastfeeding. Stay on the safe side and avoid it. Uh, here's about children. Flaxseed oil is possibly safe for children when taken by mouth short term. Flaxseed oil has been safely taken by mouth for up to three months by children about seven to eight years old. And finally, surgery. Flaxseed oil might increase the risk of bleeding during and after surgery. Stop using it at least two weeks before a scheduled surgery. Here's some other warnings. Who should, who should not take flaxseed? Ask your doctor before taking flaxseed if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. 
Men with prostate cancer should ask their doctors before taking Plaxid. People with bowel obstruction, inflamed bowel, or narrow esophagus should not take Plaxid. It is high in fiber and could make the conditions worse. And finally, this last article from Mount Sinai. Let's see what this says. So, their studies suggest that flaxseed oil may help prevent and treat of the following health conditions. First one is high cholesterol, heart disease, menopausal symptoms, breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer, and that's it. So, you know, I've given you pretty much the information I found on flaxseed oil, uh, the good, the bad, and what to take from this um, episode. So, remember, talk to your doctor before you take any of these supplements, because supplements can be just as dangerous as some of the medications, and you need to make sure that your doctor knows that you're taking these in case he puts you on another medication, especially like for diabetes, that may interfere with what flaxseed oil is doing too. So you need to be careful. Talk to your doctor. Uh, write down all the information. Save it in a folder like I do. So that way I don't forget what I need to talk to my next doctors at a doctor's appointment. But I want to thank you all for being here. I'm so thankful that you have the time to listen to these podcasts and give me your feedback too. That helps a lot for me to understand and to improve my episodes for you, the listener. So until next Monday, I'll talk to you later. Bye. As we come to a close, it's my hope this podcast and other sources such as product reviews that I have discussed today can better our lives and give us some relief dealing with neuropathy. This episode plus others are posted every Monday on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, iTunes, Spotify, and Stitcher. And finally, whatever life throws at you, even if it hurts you, just be strong and fight through it. Remember, strong walls shake, but never collapse. Talk to you next Monday.